what's the first thing that comes to mind when I say the word stingray? Is it a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette car? Is it a stingy tail, pancake-shaped shark creature? Or is it is that what got Steve Irwin? Well, you probably don't think about stingray as much as I do. So let me tell you that there are 90 whiptail stingray species alone, dominating the coastal regions of the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, but also in estuaries, rivers, freshwater, even in the deep sea. They stir up sands and eat bivalves and crustaceans, and they also get eaten by sharks. They're in the middle of the food web and incredibly ecologically important. But we hear a lot about sharks being overfished. What about their pancake cousins? So 56% of whiptail stingrays are threatened with extinction, almost entirely from overfishing. So narrowing down to East Africa and the two and a half thousand kilometers of coastline of Mozambique houses hundreds of fisher villages, traditionally using spears and lines to catch fish for their families. However, more and more, they're using nets and taking out everything but this is just close to shore as you can see from our slide we also have a much bigger problem of international fishing vessels completely unregulated and when the one ship fleet of Mozambique can do their spot checks inevitably they find dozens of endangered shark and ray species sadly like the photo in the slide here so the big question is how do we quantify the effect of these large fishing vessels to the local sustenance fishers? And concurrently, how do both affect the marine ecosystem and our stingray species? So I'm Jen, I'm in the first year of my PhD, but I've actually been in Mozambique for five years now, studying stingray occurrence trends. So what I plan to do now is use the AIS vessel tracking data and overlay this with stingray occurrence. I have hundreds of local fisher interviews to assess what, where and how they're fishing, but their reliance on ray products and their opinion on the large fisher vessels. Because local empowerment, engagement and education is vital for conservation action on local fisher towns with low governance such as this. So perhaps we can trickle up to systemic change and government action because stingrays are a good indicator of ecosystem health. So I wonder now what you might think of when I say the word stingray. Thank you.